Hi Libra, welcome to your What Lies Ahead reading for July 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and another person, this could resonate with theirs or your moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Libra. Oops. Okay, ah, ah, okay, I see what you're doing here. <laughs> All right, Libra. July 2020. Eight of Swords. Um, okay, so before I even, uh, before, um, this is actually the second take on the reading. I got about halfway through the other one and realized I hadn't started recording. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to scrap it. But basically it was someone um, coming back in and you were like, nope, I'm staying the course. Like I'm, I'm getting out of Dodge because it was kind of like it made you weak and um, you were waffling. And so it was just better to physically be gone from where this person was. So you either moved out or moved to, there was, there was a move involved also. So that was the last reading. Um, that's as far as I got and then I just scrapped it. Okay, all right. Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, That'd be a new job. Three of Cups, nice. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands. Okay, so is this somebody new? Like, what, what, what is going on here? Okay. So, th again, this is kind of in that same vein here. You're wanting to... Um, this is kind of like baby steps. You staking your claim, making, standing your ground, not doing anything, not budging. Um, probably friends are involved helping you and supporting you with this. Uh, this is a long-standing issue. So this could be at work. This could be a romantic issue. This could be family. There's a long-standing issue that you're trying to address and stand, addressed, address and stand your ground with. So, oopsie. Hello. What's this page of pentacles about for Libra? What's this page of pentacles? Death. Okay. So this is a new beginning, a new start. Um, probably trying to kind of get some distance from and, and accept this new normal that you're slowly starting to build um, because it's a long time coming, this death, this, this change, this transformation, rebirth. What's this Three of Cups about for Libra? Three of Cups, all right. Nothing wrong with that. It's this Nine of Pentacles. For Libra. Five of Swords. Good. So this is about you making some decisions and come H-E double hockey sticks or high water, you're going to stand your ground. Um, and it's because it's, it's come down to self-respect and self-worth and your ability to provide for yourself and to, to feel self sufficient and have some efficacy here. So, and nine of cups. Okay, so we got two nines. That's getting it, that's understanding, that's seeing things for what it is, getting enough physical and emotional distance for, from something to see it for what it is. What's this nine of cups here? So it doesn't have to be relationship. This could be job, but, um, hmm, what's this nine of cups? Could be a family member. Hierophant, that feature, that and the magician feature prominently in that reading that I, I got halfway through um and I, I think this was about you wanting to be left alone to kind of get your wits about you and you had someone that was um still had that pull and that hold and it was even as much as proximity um and you're like nope I don't I, I want to have my own I just want to be able to think of things on my own I don't want to talk and uh, what's done is done I don't want to negotiate I don't want to talk and they weren't giving you your... Well, it was starting to look like they weren't giving you your space. Anyway, okay, so we got Nine of Cups and the Hierophant. Good. Good. This is you rebuilding, having faith, starting over, baby steps, being happy, unburdened, coming to clarity, with possibly with the help of friends, making some decisions, standing your ground, even though it might not be easy. You have um, help with friends to do that. What's this Ace of Wands? Hello? What's this Ace of Wands? The de uh uh nope 
not this time, the devil. There's that dance with the devil again. This could be Capricorn. So when <laughs> we all know what this is right here, <laughs> that's that, that, that's, I, I think the magician showed up last time. That's that, um, mm. That you're you are going to need have you're going to need to have that friendship and support and that levity um to keep kind of keep your wits about you because this is a very strong pull here this is like you know come with me have some fun and it is fun and then the next morning you feel like oh boy i just lost all that ground i gained or you know what i mean four of wands what's this four of wands so you're going to have a, a strong friendship base and support base that's going to help you see what the dynamics were in uh, this past situation that you're taking baby steps to transition out of. This is you getting social in July and, and having your wits about you and being able to maintain your position of distance and strength and silence and get more and more distance and be able to make sense of a situation that you left behind that was quite dynamic for you. Um, What's this four of wands about? Okay, so we have the king of wands come like this. Oh, we got a couple more here. King of wands and justice. So there's Sagittarius and Libra right here. And then we have the knight of wands. That's um, Leo. And this is the fact that it kind of landed like that. This is like, you know what? It's never going to be um, where things are accounted for and even and balanced and fair. That's always gonna be a negotiation tactic. It's always gonna be up in the air as well as what somebody wants and being straight with you, making certain things known but not others. It's always gonna be about this person and it's gonna be inconsistent, their involvement and attachment with you, primarily passion or physical based. Um, so this is, oh, that was like that, wasn't it? Okay, so what else for? I can't remember which one I picked, so I'm leaving it like this. What else for this four of wands here? Eight of wands. So this could be them coming back in, talking that talk, saying that stuff that really used to have quite the effect um, and being very convincing and wanting to know right now, let's just do it. Let's just go away right now. Let's just go away and elope and get married. Let's just do it. And it's like, no, it's hold on. Stop talking. You shush. <laughs> It's, it's like love bombing. This is love bombing. This is um, not, it's not ever going to be right or steady or consistent, but it is going to be very enticing and it's going to tug at you and it's going to be what you're familiar with. And this, this very well could be love bombing. Um, on the flip side, this could be you moving out of a communal home with someone um, to kind of start anew by yourself and you're unburdened and you're trying to keep your, um, your life happy and optimistic and to get as much emotional distance and physical distance from this old dynamic as you can. You will have help from friends. So whoever this, if this isn't a romantic partner, which I think it is, I think it's passion based though. Um, this could be a family member. I don't see how, but I mean, it could. It's just somebody that kind of wants you to go back to the way things were and you feel an incredible pull, but you're going to have friends keeping you on the straight and narrow and helping you kind of make a fresh new start that is much more suited to what you need, a much more practical approach to your life. This is all passion and adventure based and you've been there, done that, and it didn't get you what you wanted. And it's become, it's at this point, it's become a self-esteem issue and, and feeling like you need to be able to trust yourself and have faith in yourself and your choices. And this, whoever this was, did not do that. They didn't support your self-esteem. They didn't support, it was all about them. And you've been there, done that, and this is you starting anew. Physically moving and getting support for standing your ground. And I'm done with that. Okay, all right. And it, this, it needed to happen. It, you needed to, to leave this because it wasn't going to change. And you know it. And this is just you, the more physical distance you get from this and the more you're surrounded by your friends that help the, the tribe that helps insulate this and um, get you some distance from it. This could have been an affair. We got three of cups and the devil here and the four of wands. This could have been an affair that you were involved in. That This person still has the audacity to, after they've discarded you, to come back and go, are you sure we had some good times? What did I, 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 mm-hmm. 
Can't say what I want to say on camera. That's for Libra. That's for Libra. Good. Self care focused on future growth for yourself. This is you focusing on you after this ending. And you've got, there's a, you have a tribe around you helping insulate from this because the pull for this is strong. But you're making baby steps, you're making progress, getting that mental clarity about your situation, getting that self-esteem intact. What else for Libra? Self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. Boom. My work here is done. <laughs> okay, so that, that fits. I'm glad that that's a line that fits because that's really, this is you continuing forward this is you reinvesting in yourself baby steps friends supporting you healing moving on self-efficacy self-worth self-esteem for the month of july and you know you're gonna feel rocky and, and there's gonna be that pull that's okay we all feel that your friends are gonna get you through it you're gonna be just fine this is just the beginning phases it's baby steps and you're like i don't know if i can say no i don't know if i cannot pick up the phone or answer the door or whatever yes you can yes you can and if i live near you i'd i'd, <laughs> I'd help with that <laughs> but you'll be okay it's just it feels yeah, because of the dynamics of it you just keep putting one foot in front of the other all right okay you and your friends libra you have a good july um and you don't let this get you down the best is yet to come because you're creating it, not because something's gonna happen and someone's gonna come in. No, this is you creating the best is yet to come. So don't take your focus away from that. Okay, all right. I hope to see you in the next reading. Much love to you and you take care.